So, um, with the, uh, the OBS snap, I didn't even realize... Or I, I assumed there was something that existed. I didn't realize, like, what the OBS snap actually was, though, because it's not just an it's OBS a, yeah. snap, which would be fine. It's a batteries included package. There is two variants of snaps. There is the... Oh, I didn't even realize. The 29... <laughs> There, uh, it's it, it, in the in the in a in a whole story of this snap. There is two variants of the package. Uh huh. There is there is the one that was stuck in on twenty nine. Uh -huh. I think it was stuck on twenty nine dot one for a while. It was batteries included. It has I think twenty plugins. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. suddenly, suddenly, out of nowhere, it gets upgraded. And it's fifty plugins included. Wait, wait, <laughs> I, are there 50 plugins, wait, are, I didn't even know there were 50 plugins that regular people would want to use, like, I know there no. are lots of OBS plugins, but how do you find 50 just generic plugins that normal people would want? You don't, you just, <laughs> uh, take, uh, I, I think I, might find the i don't remember where it is but it's the snap got based on other project from mm -hmm. it's someone who created its recipe to build obs with all the plugins he wants mm -hmm. and one of the snap makers says thought it was a good idea to use this recipe to provide the package of as a, as a snap and no, I'm, I'm just, I just saw one of the plugins. I'm confused why it exists. One of the plugins yeah. is called Source Clone. Add Source Cloning. Wait, can't you just do that? What? Wait, I'm confused. It's it's Excel Group plugins, so I think it's at the good way than to exist. I'm so... These... <laughs> there is so... I, I, don't, I, I know there is a use case, but right. I don't remember which one. I package it on EUR, so... <laughs> right, right. Yeah. No, the main issue is that they. I, the main issue with that is like you. I written a a, a post on Mastodon a while ago. Mm -hmm. I was complaining about the batteries included thing and the the fact that it was completely forgetting to communicate about. But the fact there is. Tons of third-party plugins, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is not the best way to. How do you communicate that to the user? Mm -hmm. It's my main point. How do you communicate to the user? Oh, all these features are not in OBS. If you take, if you took it from the PPA, or if you took it from the flat pack, mm -hmm. or any other package variant, and they don't communicate about it, and there is. When you, it's, it's also the support part is how do you redirect users to the right uh, support? Right. Because when we, when we get uh, on the OBS server community, we arrive, someone with the snap installed arrives, we said post a log mm -hmm. and we have a, a log analyzer installed in the server, in the server Discord. And we saw it as a distributions, Ubuntu core. So we have to say, uh, you either go to the Snapcrafter support or you swap to the PPA or the Flatpak. Right. Yeah, we clearly don't, we don't try to, we can, if someone wants to help, they can help us Snap users, but they're not forced to. We are all volunteers when it comes to the Linux support. Right. And the Snap is usually a real pain, so we don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it would also depend if they are aware of, like, what the problem is. Like, if they are, if they know yeah. it specifically with a plugin and there's someone who knows about that plugin, like, it would be a lot easier to help that person. If they don't even realize that they are using a plugin, it's a feat. They, they think it's just a feature of OBS. Like, you're going to run into a lot of problems there where you're just like, I don't, yeah. I don't know what you're using. Like, this is not a feature in the project. Like... I, I need some information to go on here. 
Yeah, and we all it's all the plugins loaded or written in the log. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we don't even we we just scroll and also all the plugins is and we we take a guess and then we scroll up and we say Obu oh, Tucker, I was right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we we take guesses and I and sometimes I weird. As, for, as an example, I don't know how Snaps works, but I think the issues with Snaps batteries included is that Snaps are, have no design for extensions. Right. They have, they have nothing to have extensions. And as, rather than trying to create extensions, they're doing the this thing that is technically wrong because when the user installs the snaps, it doesn't read the wall with me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I understand how users get confused with it, right? Like, it makes sense because you think, oh, I've installed OBS. Yeah, it does have this big, like, unofficial thing here, but every package you install is unofficial. If you install a package on Debian or a package on Arch Linux, yeah, these are all unofficial packages, but you but... have less, not more. <laughs> Yeah. What really annoys me about the Snap Store is they will put this nice little verified badge next to things where Snap Crafters is the developer of the package. It's like, you're not the project developer. Can we not have these verified badges here? Like, it just leads to confusion. Uh, I always forgot that that they are over. It's, it's so wrong from them to do that. Mm -hmm. Because on... You already did an video, if I remember correctly, about flat pa flat hub verified. Yes, yes. Yeah, there you are either verified by GitLab, but but there is specific there is custom pass for GNOMS and KDE's developer, but you are verified because you have the this GitLab account. You are verified because you have put this txt file in your domain name. Here we say, oh, it's a first party. It is a domain. The purpose of the verified on FlatHub is very its first party. Yes. And Snaps is not first party. Is that <laughs> oh you can trust us? Yes, yeah, Snaps is like oh Snapcraft is is the publisher. Like okay, right, but like yeah, no. <laughs> like they there are so many things published by Snapcrafters like Discord, like it, I like I get. I, I get they're trying to like what they're trying to say here. They're trying to say that, like I, you know, what? I don't know what they're trying to say actually. I, <laughs> I try to give them like the benefit of the doubt here. I actually don't know what they're trying to say. Oh, I don't know. I, I, if I'm correctly for the Spotify flat hub flat pack package, we 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 package the step one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. May I? I don't know if the Discord is not first party, right? I don't know. The f I think the flat hub, flat hub is trying to make it first party. Um, it it's currently published it, by Snapcrafters, so maybe they're trying to. Yeah. Um, yeah, flat flat hub is. Tr I think it's trying to oh, flat hub ask. Is, ooh, okay. To uh, it's trying to ask the the. F the upstream, if they want to maintain the flat pack, mm -hmm. it's more. Do you want to maintain it? Otherwise, we still maintain it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, actually, there is a few people that maintains all these packages. I think the the and re really the I think about it, but packaging Discord and Spotify on the flat pack is really a nightmare. Because you have, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know about it, but we, you sometimes the they used Electron or CF, mm -hmm. and the issue is you have two sandbox trying to communicate to each other. It sometimes is a real mess. Ah, right. We have the flat up send the way of the flat pack sandbox, and uh, I think the name is Zygot for mm -hmm. Chromium. And so someone from the flat uh, or flat pack devs created something called Zig Pack, and so almost every Chromium-based application is, if they use the sandbox, is patched with Zigot, mm -hmm. Zig Pack. 
Uh, as an example, OBS, we don't have the sandbox that viable for CF. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember why, but it was it was not usable for now. Mm -hmm. But we have other issues for CF or OBS, like the infamous, it does not work, Brother Docs and Wayland. 